complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is the 10 o'clock news on KTVU Channel 2. At Piers 17 and 15 in San Francisco, the new home for the Exploratorium is slowly taking shape. We'll take you inside the construction zone and tell you about brand new laser technology, the first of its kind being used in construction. San Francisco's Exploratorium is known for its science exhibits, and now the museum is using high-tech science to build its new home on the waterfront. KTV's Jana Katsuyama got an exclusive tour of the construction zone today where lasers are helping crews lay a solid foundation. Along the Embarcadero today, construction crews maneuvered a massive crane, pouring concrete into pilings for the new Exploratorium's foundation. But construction has not been easy. Crews say piers 15 and 17 date back 100 or so years, and the original site documents were not precise by modern standards. So to retrofit the buildings, they turned to state-of-the-art laser technology. You can see here the whole building actually is uh, captured uh, with a laser scanner. Project managers say for the first time in the world, they're using laser to take images of the pier and its foundation underwater. They showed us the laser machine, not much larger than a toaster oven. Same uh, intensity as the uh, scanners in a supermarket. The machine shoots millions of laser flashes a second, moving 360 degrees. The light bounces off structures and returns to the machine's sensors. Computers calculate coordinates to form a three-dimensional image. This technology is used a lot in historical documentation because it's able to pick up what exists and then to put it into uh, a digital form very easily. And that, according to the Exploratorium director, will ensure the new $218 million museum is built on a solid foundation. So that the architects and the engineers and the construction people know exactly what they're doing. It's just going to make that much better, stronger, longer lasting uh, home for the Exploratorium. If the construction continues on schedule, then the Exploratorium could be moving into its new home here at the Embarcadero by early 2013. In San Francisco, Jana Katsuyama, KTVU, Channel 2 News.